So we put a teaser out showing some really cool hexagonal geometry done with presets and um, I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's add some subdivisions to a polyprotonic, change the subdivision mode to triangle so we end up with this and then let's smooth the mesh. So this is our starting point. So smoothing the mesh here gives us these really cool hexagons but they are all um, intersected by these triangles and we want to get rid of all of these edges inside these hexagons here. So how do we do that? It's really easy. So if we just uh, select an edge and then use the um, delete edge vertex tool, so that's um, command uh, delete or control delete on Windows to delete an edge vertex combo. Let's um, then add a preset. So we go create mainframe labs, create preset, drag in the um, platonic, choose the delete edge here. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with vertices. We're going to select the vertices uh, that are in the middle of each of these um, each of these hexagons, and then we're going to convert that selection to edges, which will give us all of the internal edges. And then we're going to de delete those. So we can select the vertices based on the number of edges that are connected to them, and that's the spoke count. That's what we call the spoke count. So if we select component mode to be vertex. We can then, in, under vertex only, we can change the spoke mode, and we want the spoke mode to be more than four spokes. So we want five and six, and that's because these um, uh, polygons up here have uh, five sides, and then these ones have six, so we want five and six. And then what we can do under utilities is we can convert the selection to edges, and then, hey presto, we're done. Okay, so that done, let's go and bevel our mesh. And we'll just do something like this. And then we can go and choose a face, and we can delete a face, and then add another process. So I'm just going to hold Alt and click on the process tool. I have the mesh selected, so that just throws me straight to the history list. I'm going to choose Delete Component, and then I'll choose all the faces that have more than four edges, which gives us this as a result. And then I could, you know, extrude this if I wanted to, like so. And then I believe that is as far as I got. So that's how you do it. So it doesn't take long and you can get some really cool marble geometry.